All right, guys, here we are. It is, I believe, January 27th. Um, this will hopefully be the intro to our first uh, shed hunting video. I don't know. Um, it's early to be finding sheds. We only got a couple bucks that have lost their sheds. Um, we only got a couple bucks that have lost their antlers. Um, so we'll look around a little bit, but mostly we're going to go down, uh, putting batteries, cameras, maybe putting some corn out some places, just trying to keep the bucks around. Um, so that they drop them whenever they're ready, uh, so that they drop them, you know, close, close by. Um, so got, got little man with me here. What do you say, Link? What are we doing? Going to shed hunt. Yeah. What are we going to find? A shed. Yeah. Big one or small one? Big one. Oh, okay. And small one. Oh, and a small one. Okay. Yeah. We're going to find both of them. We're going to find both of them. Okay. Yeah. That'd be nice. All right. Well, uh. You know, if we find one, um, this will probably make the video. Um, so if you're seeing this, we'll probably find one. But yeah, we're going to look around just a little bit, some little areas. Um, but mostly just kind of setting up for the rest of shed season here. So, all right, guys, wish us luck. Uh, hopefully we find something here. I can have so much fun. <laughs> yes, we are. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, well, we're down here. This is kind of the first little shed walk, if you will. We're kind of just um, putting out some corn, trying to keep the deer local uh, for some of the bucks to shed. But I didn't know for sure if we'd if we'd maybe see one, find one. But I knew we would have a chance, and I think we found our first one of 2024. You don't see it yet, do you? So we're gonna walk up here. It's right by the feeders. Um, I don't run a lot of corn down here. This is the property that I shot the uh, drop time buck off of. It's hard to keep corn down here, but hang on, hang on, Link, hang on. Uh, we're going to walk up to it. I see it laying. We drive right up. We drove right up and I see it laying. So let's see. Let's get a video of Link and picking this up. Oh, I don't know which buck it is. I think I, I think I know. I think it's the bully. Is it the bully? Yeah, it is. It's the old bully. Oh, buddy. Pick it up, big man. It's the bully eight. It's him, dude. Oh, my oh yeah. Goodness. We got the mass of this baby. The what on him? Massive. Massive. He's got good mass, doesn't he? He's an old guy, isn't he? Dude, he is sweet. Yeah. Dude. Show him. Turn him. Turn him sideways. Uh, other way. Let's see the other way. Look at the mass. Look at the mass on him. Smile. Here, smile. Whoops. Jeez. This buck, uh, this buck's like eight years old, guys. Um, he is definitely on a decline. He wasn't, he wasn't that much bigger a couple years ago, just an eight point. But I've found so many sheds off this deer, and they're usually right by the feeders. Um, so awesome, buddy! We got one. We got one, dude. Give me some knuckles. Oh, yeah. High five. High five. Yeah. Let's see it again. That's a good one. Oh. It's big, thick. He's big mass, but he doesn't have many points, does he? No. We got one, dude. He's a little like the one I found on that first new house. Yeah. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Just to show you guys, too. It's January 26th, 27th. I don't even know what. I think it's January 27th today. And there's still scrapes. Um, this is a pretty popular scrape here. Uh, it's usually hit, and it's it's still open. So, you know, it just, just all depends. Um, but, you know, these bucks still, still hit some scrapes. But, yeah, we pumped. Got the bully eight. We got so much history of that buck, probably like six, probably at least six years of history with this deer. Multiple sheds off of them. We got cameras on by in the game. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just kind of looking through this uh, kind of nasty high grass stuff. Um, just right off, right off the main field here. It's real high grass. Um, you know, we don't have many bucks that have shed, but I know a few. Um, the bull yate. Here was definitely one of them. Off to show you guys the past year history sheds we have off of him. There it lays. I'm gonna say that's the bully eight. Yep, that's the bully eight. That is him. Five year old buck. All right, let's uh, let's pick him up. Oof. This deer is not a wide deer at all. But uh, and he's one of the most visible bucks uh, we have on the property. 
But I'm thinking it's the Bully 8. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, yep, it's him. Yep, it's him. Bully 8. Sweet. Just trying to speed walk all this and uh, hope something, but yeah, he's nothing special. Um, nothing special, but I actually have his sheds from the year before. Uh, but yeah, it's he got chewed up pretty good already, but yeah, nothing. Right. Yep, let's pick it up. First shed of the year for me. Good mass, he's always had good mass, but look at that. I mean, he. He's nothing special, that's for sure. Um, but this is a good area. Just any type of high grass right off of any any type of food source at all. Uh, you know, they'll feed in the middle of the night and just come and lay down here uh, right off the field. And a lot of times this is where they'll drop them. It's just right off the field in, in some sort of high grass. All right, let's keep going. Don't know what else we'll find. Don't know how many more else we'll find. I don't have a lot of bucks that have shed, but... I knew a few, so all right. Let's keep going, Link. Yeah, that way. Oh, that way? Yeah. Okay. We just jumped a little spike. He was bedded right there. We we're just up, up on the hill here, and we watched him get up out of his bed. So we just had to come over here and take a look. You know, obviously I'm not, I'm not real big into. Oh, there's another bed right there. I don't know why you can see it. What are you doing? I said, I never know if he's dead or coming here. You never know? Yep. You don't know till you walk, do you? But if you go into uh, on a board, you find his dead. Oh, okay. Yep. On a what? On the board. Oh, okay. There's, there's a shed. What do you want to find today, buddy? I want the shed. It's weak. Anything else? Mm, a that's another shed. Just another shed. Okay. What? Which shed did we find? Um, the bully eight. Yeah, the bully eight. Yeah. Right. We hope, we hope we find that one. Or we find him. Nice. All right, let's look for some more. Yeah. We're in one of my uh, little gas line plots at the moment. Kind of vitalized seed. It is down to the dirt right now um, but this uh, this plot always produces antlers for us I don't see haven't found any yet in here um, but you know maybe maybe later on later on when the deer really start dropping we'll be able to pick one up out of this plot but always got to check it this is a plot that if you guys have watched uh, my drop time video yet uh, it's a plot that my drop time buck that I killed this year visited uh, frequently but man they got it ate down to the dirt got it ate down to the dirt isn't that right all right guys here's another good example what? hey what is that link okay. no what do, what do they do when they paw it up underneath the tree What's that called? Scratch. <laughs> Scrape? This is another scrape in there. Yeah, look at that. That's brand new. So here's a big overhanging branch. Don't step in it though, Link. There's the big scrape, old scrape. Look at this brand new fresh one. I mean, it's brand new fresh one. Yeah, look at that big, there's big, big tracks in it. And again, this is January 27th, so it's still hitting. Still hitting some scrapes. I don't have any pictures of real big deer at this location so it's hard to say how big of a buck is actually here um i don't i don't think he's really that big uh whatever deer was hitting that but january 27th they still still hitting some scrapes um so something that a lot of people don't even think about or don't even know um so all right we're still just making arounds looking for some quick easy sheds we're not really walking that far but yeah just checking out this spot now all right guys, so here we are back at the house. Um, here's the shed we just found. And this is just a comparison of this buck, uh, the buck I call the Bully 8. Uh, just a couple of the sheds I've had off of them off that property. 
kind of as I said, I've known that deer for about six years, and that's about how long we've been on that property. Um, so I believe, I believe this was the first shed we found of him, um, was back in 2019, I believe. Uh, I think he was either like a four, I think he, I think he was probably four years old. Um, it is possible he was five then. When I first saw him in 2018, he could have been, he could have been three. That's what I guessed him at. I mean, he honestly, he honestly, he could have been four, um, but I guessed him at three. The following year, I found this shed off of him, and then, then the very next year, uh, it would be this shed and this shed. These two sheds are a match. Um, these two sheds are actually a match, and as you can see, he really went downhill um, after that, and then what you don't see is the following year, I actually don't have any sheds uh, off of his the following year, and then this is actually this year's. Uh, so you can see that, you know, how much he's really went downhill, and this is including missing another shed uh, there in between these two years. Um, so yeah, he's went downhill. He never was a giant buck uh, to begin with. Um, it's kind of a, a buck that we never, was really never on our hit list. Uh, just not one we really wanted to take. Uh, I'm just a bully buck. That's why we called him the bully eight. But yeah, just want to show you guys, you know, the, the progression or regression of him um, over the past six years from what I have as far as his sheds go but just cool to have a you know quite a few sheds off the same deer uh, it's kind of hard to do because he's got to be able to drop them in the area they're actually hunting so cool just want to show you that guys